All right, now I've, I've seen a lot of bandwagon, a lot of people riding Vegas' cock lately, including the city of Las Vegas, who at the start of the year or at the start of the playoffs gave their hometown team 7-1 to odds to win the Stanley Cup. Now, I don't know about you, but that is pretty fucking ridiculous numbers. This is a team that is so built for the regular season, but they are just so not built for the playoffs because they're so they're not big, they're fast, but you can't fucking it doesn't matter if you're fast if you don't have the puck, and I know it's gonna happen when they play a team that's not l a or the sharks because the sh- the Sharks are shittier than the Kings to me. And, I mean, they swept the Kings, but, like, it wasn't that dominant of a series. People are acting like, oh, my God, Vegas is the fucking favorites. Every single one of those games were one-goal games. That's one bounce away from it being an L.A. sweep the other way. And... I mean, this, this, I mean, they're fast, but they've got maybe one good line. You, like, they don't have that dominant defenseman that you need. Their leading ice time getter was Nate Schmidt during the regular season. You're telling me a team can win the cup with Nate Schmidt as your leading ice time for a defenseman? That's fucking that's just that's not a recipe for any success. You look at any Stanley Cup winning team except for the Penguins last year, they've got that dominant defenseman. They had him for I think the first round, but I'm not sure, but Latang injured. That's the only time I've ever seen it. Other than that, Latang, Duncan Keith, Drew Doughty, Duncan Keith and Drew Doughty pretty much over and over again. And then Chara and Latang again and Lidstrom and Pronger and Niedermeyer. Like, the list just goes on and on with just... You need that dominant defenseman. And another thing you need is that two-way center, that Kopitar or that Taves or the Bergeron that or Getzlaff even, that you can just... You... Do not have to worry when he's on the ice because he's going to have the puck and he's going to be in the right spot. And then once you get that, you're you're pretty much ready for success. But the Vegas Golden Knights have none of those things. They have one good goalie. They've got some top nine forwards. William Carlson, trust me, if he did not play on the top line, he would not have 43 goals. Put him on any other line, he's He's probably a 20-goal scorer, maybe. Nothing special. So trust me, Vegas is not going to win shit. They do not have a defenseman. They do not have a dominant center. And they just don't really have a good team, honestly. They're built for the regular season because they can just throw all four lines out because they're all equally as good. Because they don't have the top lines. And then once that's done. And you get into the playoffs. Guys like Dowdy are getting 30 minutes a game. Same thing with probably Brent Burns in this series. So they're a little fucked. And I would not put them in a contender role anywhere close to now. Like, maybe in 10 years.